Hi there. I am going to be solving today's New York Times crossword puzzle. So this is Thursday, October 29th, 2020, and I'm going to speak my thoughts out loud as I solve this. And if you'd like to follow along, you should see the clues toward the top of the screen in red. Okay, let's dig into a Thursday puzzle. Twice over. Federal Vaccine Agency. That's the FDA, right? It should be. Wariest animal. No idea what would be the wariest animal. End of an era good okay dog on hmm. sign up is maybe enlist could be enroll but enroll has one up one l begins some evasive maneuvering zigs maybe interesting twice over i want to say freeze but i don't get how it fits the clue unless I don't know that meaning of the word twice because this looks like darn it series finale which series is the question what series are we ending in this clue okay tallowy I'm guessing this is a theme entry somehow because it's a uh, long across but on Thursday anything can happen I don't really know what tallow means to be honest rat Wariest animal, freeze, not sure, a little stuck. All right, Fijian or Samoan, for example, is an islander, great. Shoe accessory, what's that gonna be? I can think of an accessory when it puts on their shoes, lush. That's sometimes slang for like someone who drinks a lot, which in Sat is also, so let's try it. Biblical companion of Moses, not sure. Surpass, hmm, outdo, there you go. All right, so far pretty smooth, Leo. Classic Alan Ladd of film. I do not know who this person is. Shoe accessory, what's that? Oh. Is it a tree? Is a shoe tree a thing? Like where you hang your shoes? I, I looked at it because I like the TE ending here. Let's see, I see amalgamate, amalgamate? Ram? At all? All right. So I guess I don't know what f twice over means for freeze. I have no idea how amalgamate fits Halloween. But it is Thursday after all, so I think I'm supposed to be confused. Long-handled hammer is a mallet. I always forget, is that an ET or an OT? Let's see, four clubs, for example. Thinking cards. But maybe not. Concern for a pole bias. Concerning in a memo is as to procedure of calm is a dot. These clues, some of these clues are kind of mercifully easy. Close in on. I really say merciful because I got like no sleep last night, so I thought I was going to perform. I'm very slow today. I thought I was going to perform poorly on this puzzle, but so far it's all right. And that's a bid in bridge for clubs. Place in office. Install. Okay. Hmm. This is a little weird. I'm not sure if it's theme related or not, or if it's just kind of a strange clue. Like I get you can place something in an office and that's like installing, like you can install, I don't know, a printer or something in an office. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, but place in office, I would think like elect. You elect someone to office. Leave alone is let be. Oops. Samuel Adams for one is a beer. House member in brief is a rep. Do you to rack? Do they have pesos in Chile? Chile? Let's see what's going on. Tawny. Okay, so this is notable because Tallowy and Tawny are sort of similar constructions. And honestly, I don't really know what Tawny means either. Huh. Very curious. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. 
amalgamate and tallow it. I don't know. But yeah, I don't think I'll have any better luck on this entry. So I'm going to stay in the dark for a while. But are there only three theme entries? So confusing. What's going on in this puzzle? Diamond selling Michael Jackson album. I should probably know that. I want to guess this is Bach. Sunburn 8 is Aloe. Surfs of olden days. Dude. Rot. Excuses. Maybe allows. Dude. Hmm. Alibis. I like that better. And bro. Uh, surfs of olden days. Not sure how specific this is looking for. Face of a clock. Damn, I should know my Michael Jackson albums, shouldn't I? Face of a clock. Hmm. Rot. What's going on here? All right. That doesn't help too much, unfortunately. Yeah. Con of Greece doesn't help either, darn it. Driving nuisance. Gonna need more for that. Locales of speakers and honorees. Locales for speakers and honorees. Huh. Surfs of olden days at heroes? I don't know. Like all prime numbers besides one. Uh, I think that this is, I hope, uh, I'm gonna move on from this because uh, I'm worried that there's an error in that clue and I don't want to assume. Use a divining rod. Cleanse? What's that called? I feel like there's a specific name. Damn, I got really stopped up in that section there. That's Pegasus, right? Okay, hieroglyphic figure is an asp, I believe. Like some AAA, minor league baseball is AAA, U-Haul. Yeah, look how much easier this section is. Bug sensory appendage. What is that? Not sure. Casa. Okay, Tawny. Still don't have enough for this. Since it seems like the words don't match, the the clues don't match the entries at all in this until you know what's going on. So I just don't know how I'm going to guess that. Driving nuisance. Something fog? Rain? What is this? This OG. I'm not sure. I wish I knew this one. I feel like it's in a key spot and it would help a lot. Paper handed in for school. Report? Okay. What's this? Yeah, let's do these. Kind of charger. Huh. Not sure. Embarrasses. Abashes. Great. USB. Okay, cool. Sound off. No matter which fits, douse, could be, roadhog, nice entry. Wow, that really snapped together quickly, huh? This is just an error. This is supposed to be two. Obviously, one is odd and one is not a prime number. Um, so this is a, a bad mistake. Maybe they fixed it in the print version or something, or I don't know how this got in there because it's kind of a pretty bad mistake just because it's wrong on two fronts. Um, one is not a prime number, which is a mistake that a lot of people make, but um, one is obviously not an odd number. So uh, it should be like all prime numbers besides two. That is a good clue for odd. Um, it's a little frustrating, but mistakes happen. Is this deuses? Deuses? That's a rare word to see in the plural. Okay. What's this? Percy Bish Shelley. I don't know who this person is. The only Shelley I know is Mary Shelley. Oh, maybe an Otist. Oh yeah, that Shelley. <laughs> Turns out I did know this Shelley. DD Khan. Okay. Rot. 
Is it coarse? Helots? I can't remember what helots means, but it feels right. Dial. Sweet. Bad. Yeah, that's it. All right. Glad I got, got out of that section. Turned out to be less hairy than I expected. Still don't know this, unfortunately, but I'll come back to it. Sound off is mute. Yeah, these are feeling kind of Wednesday clues. I really should be doing worse today. I'm so foggy in the head. Um, but I'm kind of moving along. Denounce, except I have no idea what the theme is. That is, I'm still completely in the dark on that. Denounce harshly. Maybe loathe? But I wouldn't have thought that that's exactly what loathe means. Check receiver. Hmm, payee? Coliseum, hello. Not sure. Hmm. Film performer Diggs. That's Tay Diggs. Son of Zeus. Land of bygone. Hmm. Sparta? Glad it was one of the easy lands. That could have been a bummer. Ares, maybe? Real? Do they have Reals there? Yeah, it's just like steady progress. Even when the section seems hard at first. Wrote. Oh, Seethe. Seethe? It doesn't really work either, does it? Scathe, that's what it is. Okay, better than Loathe, better than Seethe. It is Scathe. I don't see how Caviar would fit here. But it seems to be begging for Caviar. Deckhand's response is I I. And Ave seems plausible here, but what on earth does Rote and Caviar have to do with each other? Is this theme related? Was there another like nonsense clue like twice over and freeze? What is going on in this puzzle? Rot and Course felt a little weird to me. I'm just looking around suspiciously at clues because Caviar and Rote doesn't make any sense. I don't think. No matter which, and Tawny. What is going on here? Yeah, what is going on? Very, very curious. Because it's solvable without knowing the theme. I love long ago. Amo? Jackie Chan police film. Uh. Um. I don't know. Okay, 62, is this a revealer? No. Wow, it's not. Is there no revealer in this puzzle and I'm left to figure this out on my own? Or maybe there's a revealer at like 71 across or 65 down or something. Wow. Wow. Mini dorm room. Probably a sty and I like APBs for this slot. Surgery locales. No, because that's ORs. So that was wrong. In pieces is a part. Like some breakups are messy. Good. Super cop, maybe? Never heard of that, but it seems to fit. Large urban area in Normandy, France. Not sure. Twin bed, perhaps. UFOs, interesting. Is there a revealer? I just kind of. Yeah, so here it is. Do I check the revealer? Maybe I do, just because I'm so confused. I'm busy. Or, if read in four pieces, an aid in solving several clues here. Interesting. This is quite intriguing. I'm busy. Maybe go away? Freudian wit. Let's get some. Flying Fisher. An applet. Okay, so it's not go away. Get out? Hmm. Odor prefix. Notice this also starts with a T and has a W in it. Just like Tawny and Tallowy. Is that strange? Alloy. Look at that. When you remove TW from Talloway, you get alloy, which is an amalgamate. T 
Tawny minus TW is any, no matter which. All right, I got something. I still don't know what the revealer is going to be, but I think I figured out something key. Rote minus the TW is row, which is caviar. Fantastic. And I'll bet the rot was weird. Rough. Wow, very cool. Okay, why are we removing TW? I see a T in 71 across. I want to think about this for a second. Um... Let's see. Hmm. Not seeing it quite yet. Huh. Oh, so this is now in bed, perhaps, fast asleep. I like... I like it. I would like to know the revealer before I fully know what I think, but that was a fun aha uh -huh just now. And I was just noticing that like all of the weird answers seem to have like start with a T. They, it turns out they didn't all start with a T, but they all, all the across ones did. And uh, they all had this W in them. Flying Fisher. Is it eel? Is it ego? I feel like I should know this. Surface. Emerge. Okay, that should help. Let's finish this. I'm really getting the revealer last. Parishioner's place. I still don't know that. Flying Fisher. An urn? Wow. Okay. There's, t there's a rough section because there are two theme entries in this one section. Okay, something not. Parishioner's place is a pet. Not sure I get that. I'm busy. Or if read in four pieces and eight dis in solving several clues here. Not now. No T, no W. Wow. That's pretty interesting. No T, no W. All right, let's guess on this letter. And then we'll talk. Classic Alan Ladd film. Uh, what is this going to be? It'll probably be a, some recognizable word, I hope. I'm running the alphabet. Shane is a word. Seems plausible. Let's try it. Yes. So that was an interesting Thursday puzzle. Uh, so I've definitely, you know, there are lots of themes where you um, remove letters from entries. Uh, far fewer themes where you remove letters from clues. I remember a notable one from not too long ago, just like a few months back, where you had to remove the W from many, a W from many clues to get something different. Um, interesting that this one is a T and a W. Uh, so while maybe um, not the most original theme ever, I found it pretty fun, which is more important than originality. And I think the revealer is pretty satisfying, not now, parsed as no T, no W. Um, and what's really neat about this, I think, is having all these clues, like twin bed, that's a really nice disguise. That's a really nice way to sneak a TW in there and having in bed be the answer. Um, so like the way that you are adding TWs to these words um, to disguise the actual clue is really neat. So Tal Tallowy and Tawny seem, were kind of, they were suspicious, they looked suspicious to me and made me think, you know, something was afoot. But the others wrought, um, wrote, and especially the, the winner, I think clearly of this is twin bed as opposed to in bed, which I love. Um, the others were not suspicious to me until I just noticed that the, th the entries didn't fit the clues, so something must be up. But yeah, it was a satisfying thing to discover, and I'm, I think it was particularly satisfying because I caught on just in time, just before, you know, I read the revealer, so I knew that something was going to happen. I guess this doesn't really give many things away about what the mechanism is, so I, I'm, I feel like I felt a lot more satisfied with this puzzle, having figured it out on my own before getting the revealer. It was very fun to discover that alloy, because it occurred to me to remove that allow was in between the T and Y, when I was trying to figure out, okay, how do you get amalgamate from Tallowy? I did see allow, but I did not see alloy. Um, so going back to that, it, it was fun. 
So yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of this one. It's um, definitely passes the Thursday trickery test and um, sat passes the satisfaction test and the fill was fine, uh, nothing you know particularly exciting. The grid is pretty choked off. Which actually, now that I think about it, is a little puzzling because there's not that much theme. Actually, no, there is a lot of theme in this. There are these three long ones plus these two sixers plus this revealer down here. And this was the roughest section in the grid, unsurprisingly, with Kane and Osmo um, and Urn. But uh, yeah, so definitely the best entry in the puzzle is Roadhog, which is a great entry. I also liked seeing Pegasus. Um, some of the others were solid too, Sparta, Caviar, uh, Freeze. Ice Over! Yes! I, I didn't even realize this one. I'm so glad I came back to this. Wow, I was just totally going to miss this. I was going to walk away not having realized that this was one of it. Because I was confused about this right at the outset of the puzzle. I was very confused. It's ice over, of course. I wonder if there are even more that I'm missing, but I feel like that's kind of a symmetric set. This is now symmetric with the revealer, so I feel like I probably have them all, but maybe I don't. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll discover it more later. So yeah, I guess this is the gift that keeps on giving. Um, very fun puzzle. Oh, Super Cop was also kind of an interesting entry, even though I hadn't heard of it, I sort of like it. I do return to my assertion that the cluing on this was mercifully easy because when the clues don't fit the entries for many entries in the puzzle, um, especially entries that you don't always know that they're there, it's one thing when the longest across entries you know um, in a Thursday puzzle these are likely to be involved in a theme, whereas Caviar and Freeze and Course are really just hiding here in plain sight and um, make all of these sections tougher. And I think that was offset possibly deliberately by the editors and the constructor. Um, with easier than average Thursday clues, I felt, and I think it was the right choice because this could have turned into something really frustrating. Instead, I solved it in 17 minutes, which is a pretty respectable time. Uh, so I, I think it was a good decision given how um, tricky this could have been and how rough the fill gets in some places, particularly down here. And my, my one complaint about this puzzle, uh, which is just a shame, is that um, this clue is a horrible inaccuracy for somebody who loves math. Uh, I, I wish that this had been corrected. But that is a small blemish on an otherwise uh, lovely crossword puzzle. And um, I don't recognize Kurt Weller's name, so perhaps this is a debut. And if so, congratulations, Kurt. I think uh, this was a great one, and I look forward to seeing more work from you. So that's all from me. I will be back here on Monday. I make these every Monday through Thursday for the New York Times. And if you're new here and interested in seeing more of these, then clicking the red subscribe button below the video is the best way to keep in touch. And thank you so much for watching.